Alright, 100 days of making comics, day, uh, day number 8 through 12. So it's been 5 days since my last confession, last update. Um, a lot's been going on, and I've been doing a lot of drawing, but the, uh, the actual act of recording and um, editing and putting together these videos is uh, way more time than... I really want to spend, and I guess that's the negative side of doing um, daily updates on 100 Days of Making Comics. So uh, I'm going to do updates as frequently as I can. Hopefully it's better than, than once every five days, but uh, I'd rather be drawing and my life is pretty pretty busy and full to spend an hour, hour and a half making a seven minute video um, when I could be drawing in that hour, hour and a half. Um, so we're gonna try to fly through it and maybe uh, justify it in like a 10 minute video today anyway um, the usual stuff uh, I've only got a couple of sketch cards that I did here's Raven from Teen Titans go uh, Robin from Teen Titans you can see the rest of those uh, that I've been doing we're over the 200 mark which is good but I'm still behind for the year um, at some point this summer I, I fell behind, um, so I'm trying to play catch up a little bit, but uh, still way behind. I am uh, sick also, which sucks. Uh, I've been taking medicine and all that good stuff, but I got the snugs and bugs, and uh, yeah, what are you going to do? It's that time of year. It's fall in New Hampshire, so uh, everybody's getting sick, and it's like the cool thing that the cool kids are doing. Um, so I am sick, which is making everything else a little bit more difficult. Um, the uh, I tried to make a video yesterday at some point, but I have landscaper guys coming over to turn my Gobi Desert of a of a lawn um, into an actual lawn. Um, so they're almost done. They're supposed to be wrapping up the bulk of the noise today, but yesterday they were running equipment nonstop. Uh, and there was just no way the video was going to happen. Um, on top of that, um, I broke my toe a couple days ago. I'll put up a picture here. So yeah, there's my left toe, which is mostly disgusting anyway, but now that it's broken and purple and bruised, um, even more disgusting. But basically, I was... Uh, I was painting a, a like a cutout where you put your face in and then you take a picture on the other side like in Boston and Portland, Maine and all around New England there's a bunch where you stick your head in and you look like a lobster. Well this one you look like a firefighter. Um, I'll put a picture of that up here. Actually a couple of pictures up here for you to look at. These were basically going to be used uh, at work for an open house that I was supposed to work at today. I was supposed to work my normal shift yesterday, but because of a, a broken toe, I couldn't shove it in a, in a boot and actually do anything, so uh, the doctor made me uh, maybe not go to work, uh, which pains me because I enjoy my job uh, quite a bit. <coughs> uh, in addition, I was supposed to work at the open house today, which is actually one of the fun things I get to do. Um, so that's really uh, that's really disappointing, but not to uh, not to waste any uh, I guess opportunity. I'm gonna make the video or the other 30 minutes uh, and try to get caught up on some other drawings. Um, the uh, I'm looking at my notes here because five days is a whole lot of days to do stuff. Um, why don't we just skip ahead? We'll skip ahead and look at some sketches. I'll narrate over that. Um, we'll make sure the music's not too loud, and then uh, we'll close out. We'll close out uh, day eight through twelve. And uh, I don't know. We'll see you on the other side. So, as you might remember, uh, a few days back or last week or whatever, uh, I was sketching and drawing these uh, these characters here, which I was mostly mostly happy with. Um, 
I don't know, less happy with the muscles guy, but definitely with sort of this can man uh, guy here uh, with the uh, the extinguisher. So um, it kind of like a fun fun pose, semi chibi face head, um, cartoony but not too cartoony, I guess, because the pose is, is fairly realistic. It's not too exaggerated. Um, so you know, Ink Inktober showed up, and I wanted to try out some some inking by hand. So printing this out, inking by hand, I had done one previously and, and colored it, but I didn't want to color it um, with Copix, I wanted to do it digitally, so that's still up in the air, but um, so this Can Man guy, this is what he turned out to be, um, you know, it's a bad photo of it, but basically, um, not bad with the inking, I tried to use a new, uh, a new pen tool, which, um, I don't know, I'm still trying to get used to, kind of like it, kind of don't like it. Uh, the paper itself has like this, uh, it sort of leaks, um, so it's not, I'm not using Bristol, I'm using uh, a Xerox color copy paper, which is super smooth and, and really fun to draw with uh, uh, Copics because it, it gives sort of like a, a watercolor mark, it gives like little edges to some of the stuff, um, but clearly it's, it's not, I don't know, it's not cutting it for me. Uh, as far as um, an inking style to use in a comic or anything like that, it just looks too too jagged, bleedy. It's not. It, it looks very unintentional uh, along these edges here. Um, I know I can bring it into like Illustrator uh, and sort of streamline it and, and turn it to curves, and maybe that'll smooth it out some. And I've done that in the past, and and that's been fairly successful, I think, um, with this particular style. But uh, I'm not really. I'm by no means a great inker. I'm trying to do uh, heavier lines on the on the shadowy side and lighter lines on the the um, the light side. So the light I was hoping to come from here, but obviously uh, lines up in here and then right around the arm and the forearm uh, are really messed up. But um, the areas that I do like uh, are these like little these little dots here where it's real thin. And then you know this is a, a pen mistake on my part. Where it just looks like looks like crapping and contradicts what I'm trying to do in these areas here. So I need to get better with the pen tool. I need to get better with uh, what kind of paper I'm, I'm comfortable using, uh, or I just need to, you know, suck it up and do a whole bunch of editing in, in Illustrator or Photoshop or something like that to clean up these lines, which is very possible. But uh, I'm trying to trying to not spend my entire life cleaning up uh, stuff that I can do better the first time. Um, this is the muscles guy. Once I inked him, I was a whole lot less happy with him. Um, I don't know. The pose didn't work for me. The face was too simple. It just didn't cut it. Um, this is definitely the can man's more of where I want to go. Muscles guy here, uh, not so much. So we'll close out a muscles guy because he didn't like him. Um, but you know, we won't. Uh, I won't get anywhere if I don't uh, don't do some of these. So anyway, those are uh, kind of the old ones. So let's close out of these and go from there. So here's uh, here's some of the newer sketches that I was messing with. Um, just trying to get an idea for shape and size and pose and, and getting like a little foreshortening here like in his, his front leg towards his back leg. Um, front fist is bigger than his left or right hand in this, this image. Um, so I'm trying to mess with that a little bit and get a little perspective even though it's a fairly flat fairly flat drawing. Um, facial expressions, I'm just throwing one in there to just to have one, but it looks like most of the time they're like this angry face. I don't know if that's really what I want to go for, but um, you know, I guess in these sort of more action-y type poses, um, the, the facial expression would be more aggressive because they're trying to be an aggressive action pose. Um, so this guy could probably get away with uh, a more lackadaisical uh, pose because he's just kind of hanging out. Um, but anyway, uh, we're working on it. These are going to end up, probably this guy here on the left, he's going to end up being uh, printed out lightly again and then inked. Um, and then I'll, I'll get some of these drawings up for Inktober, hopefully today, and get caught up on that. Um, I think each, some of these sketches I'll do like as many as I can in a half hour, and then those will turn into an Inktober thing. So double duty. Um, but still with the common goal of, of making this uh, making this comic so um, you know maybe I'm, I'm cheating maybe I'm trying to do too many things at once uh, but hopefully here in the next however many days I have left I've got um, like 80 some odd days 88 days uh, I'll figure out a style 
and, and the style is only going to happen by, by drawing a whole lot of these things. Um, here's some more of the sketches that I was playing with. Um, I was trying to stick like a, a pike pole, which is that long hook where we pull stuff out of the ceiling like this, um, but just in a different pose, and that seems to be a, a common, uh, an easy one to stick into somebody's hands because there's so many, I'm using a, just like photo reference of people holding and, and posing. Um, and it looks like everybody's got like a broomstick or something that they're using to uh, to pose as a to use as a weapon, or or they have like a couple of swords in their hand or something using as swords, um, which is a little tricky because it only lends itself to a few tools in the fire service, um, like in this case a, a, an axe or a pike pole. Um, so I'm trying to work on here in this next series, trying to work on how to get like fire hose in a hand and. Uh, the reference is really difficult or something totally different and, and work with a radio in the hand um, so uh, I guess I'm trying to trying to work out some of these other tools and equipment and poses to use with those particular tools and equipment um, just to get an idea of what's going on again you know intense eyes um, more intense eyes but we'll get there uh, we're making some progress, so these these sketches are actually pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with um, at least with these two. This one here holding the radio. It's a fairly boring one, but he's pointing and and you know giving some some direction. Maybe it's an ancillary character in a, in a in a comic that's uh, you know moving the eye around or or doing what it needs to do. Um, but uh, I'm gonna gonna get on printing these out and inking them so we'll have those updates for the next one uh, follow me on instagram at notoriouslb3 because uh, i'll i'll post these as inktober inktober drawings um and then i'll keep plugging away at those sketch cards because uh, i really want to get uh i really want to reach the goal of 366 now that i'm over 200 um not that the the light is at the end of the tunnel but um you know I'm way over halfway at this point so I'm feeling pretty pretty good about those, uh, and and they come pretty easy because uh, I've done so many now, uh, and I'm hope, hoping that uh, these sketches and things um, do that. And they're getting a lot easier, and I'm moving a little bit faster now, uh, and, and the construction starting to starting to come together. And I think I think I'm working out, uh, in, especially in these these two or three, sort of what proportions I like uh, and what's going to work for me. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. 88 more days to go. Um, send me some comments, some love, uh, some hate, some encouragement. I don't care. Send me anything. Um, send me pictures of your broken toe. If you broke your toe, I don't know. I don't want any sympathy for it because dropping a, a piece of plywood on it uh, is pretty stupid. But the cutout's really fun. Uh, and, and maybe I'll grab some pictures of that today because the open house is happening today. Uh, and, and I'm not working, but I'll be a spectator. So... Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll stick my face in there. The wife will stick her face in there. Um, she's got. She should probably do the hundred days of making comics. Uh, we're at week 26 with with the baby. So um, at the end of this hundred days, we'll have a baby. Probably we'll have um, a really good direction of of the comic, if not some comics. Uh, and it'll be the end of the year. So hopefully I'll have all the sketch cards done. Inktober will be done. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, a lot to do now. Exciting to see what happens uh, come the end of the year. Anyway, uh, heads up, stay safe, and we'll see you at the next one. Thanks.